In today's video, I'm gonna teach you three different ways to sign a PDF document from your Mac. The first way is using the Mac itself with nothing else. The second way is using your iPhone or your iPad. And the third way is using a physical piece of paper, or in my case for this video as an example, a piece of paper using my Surface Pro with some writing on it. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see here that we are on our Mac and I have a sample PDF document on the desktop. And the first thing you wanna make sure is that you are using the preview app that is pre-installed on your Mac. If you're not, you wanna right click on the app, go open with, and then select preview. And if you are using preview as your default PDF viewer, then go ahead and double click on that and then open this guy up. What you'll see here at the top of the preview application is that on the right hand side, you have your search, then you have a little show film form button. And then the third option next to that is a pen inside of a circle, which is the markup tool. We're gonna to select on the show markup tool. And then down the bottom in even smaller font, you're gonna get a range of markup options. What you see about halfway through is there is a little squiggly line, which is your signature option. And we're gonna drop this guy down. From here, it's gonna give you three options to sign on this document. The first one is using your trackpad. The second one is camera and the third one is iPhone or iPad. So let's go ahead and use trackpad for the first time. So now if I go ahead and select on click here to begin with trackpad, it's gonna ask me to start using my trackpad as a signature and it's gonna use the entire pad here. So I'm gonna start on the left-hand side, working my way to the right. You see, it's sort of messy and I had to double tap there because I've got this green circle thing to make it easier for me to create videos for you guys. But if you use this without my green cursor highlighter, you could have just started writing away. Then when you're done, press any key to finish. I'm just gonna select on enter. And you'll see here, it says sign your name. At the bottom, we can choose a description. So we can put this as our full name, given name, anything like that, or create a custom one down the bottom. And then simply select on done. What you have here is now a very messy signature, but you can go ahead and select on this and then move it anywhere around the document. I'm gonna zoom out so we can bring it to the bottom, for example, and then we can make this nice and big, and then we can go ahead and save it. But I don't really like the trackpad option if you do have other options, because it doesn't look all that neat. Another neat trick though, is that if you have to date the bottom of here, you can of course use the create signature option again. And instead of creating a date, instead of creating a signature, you could even use it to write today's date. I'm just gonna do that very messily, just to show you what that looks like. I'm not gonna add a description, grab that guy and then drop it in here. Wouldn't recommend signing like this, but just to show you how you can use it. Uh, and of course, as you drop this down, you see that you do have the signatures that you've created. They will save, so you don't have to create them all the time. But for now, I'm gonna delete that by pressing on the X and delete this guy here as well. Because now we're gonna use the option of camera. So the camera is actually gonna say here, sign your name on white paper, then hold it to be visible to the camera. And then when you're done, select on done. I'm gonna use my Surface Pro here as a fake piece of white paper. And then I'm just gonna hold it up. You see, it's gonna grab my name there. Then I'll just select on done. And yes, this one has grabbed the top of the Surface Pro because it is black. Obviously a regular piece of white paper would be a lot neater, but we could go ahead and grab that, thinking it is a piece of white paper, and then drop it in here. Uh, of course, if I wanted to be a little bit neater, I could make sure that I cut off that top bit of the uh, Surface Pro, but it is really easy to use a piece of white paper by selecting on the drop signature option, then go ahead and create. But my favorite way is using the create signature option and then selecting from iPhone or iPad because this allows you to get as creative as possible with your iPhone or iPad. And if you have an Apple Pencil, even better, you can really create your signature just like you would on a real piece of paper. So you can see that I have my iPad here in front of me. It's on standby mode. Uh, nothing is running with it. But as soon as I select on the create signature option, select and create signature, and then choose the iPhone or iPad option, I have the option here of selecting device because it can find both my iPhone and my iPad. I go select device, and then I'm gonna choose Aldo's iPad. As soon as I select that, the iPad screen is gonna wake up. I'm gonna grab my Apple Pencil here, and you see at the top of the iPad, it says new signature. And then I can go ahead on here, I can hit done, I can hit clear, or I can hit cancel. As soon as I select on done, or even as I'm writing, you see it appears here in real time. 
I'll select on done. And then it will save straight away over here as the option. Now I can grab that guy and then move it around the page. You see the iPad as soon as it's done with its job, it turns off. So I can put that over to the side Then I can grab my signature here and then move it around the page wherever it needs to be. And then once you've moved the signature to where you want to put it, simply select on file, scroll down about halfway through and then select on save. And this is going to save that PDF document with your signature. So if I go ahead and quit preview, launch into that PDF document one more time, and then scroll down, you'll see that we have littered it with all our different signatures. We have the first one here, which is super messy, but that was using the trackpad. The second one was mimicking a real piece of paper. And then down the bottom here, we have, of course, using the iPad. And there you have it. Those are three ways that you can sign a PDF document on your Mac using the Mac itself, a piece of paper or your iPad or your iPhone. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. In the wild, where the trees sway, there's a fox spreading gay.